Hey guys, um, back at it again, finally able to take an RV trip. It's been 10, 10, 9, 10 or 11 months since we were able to take our last one. I uh, had some family stuff going on in between, and then we had another trip we took, a cruise. Uh, if you've been following along, you might have saw some of that, but I don't, if you're new to the channel, I really don't make these unless I do have something to say. Um, not really worried about the algorithm i'm just worried about putting out uh just filler content which i feel is kind of a waste of time but anyhow um yeah so leaving here in a few days uh finally able to take like uh i think it's six almost seven days uh camping trip which i prefer that uh the three day ones that those are fine but i'd rather have a few more days you go through the setup of everything uh, it's nice to be able to enjoy it for a few days. So, yeah, being SoCal here, uh, just at a favorite kind of our favorite uh, camp, one of our favorite camping spots. Pretty reasonably priced uh, for here, this area, anyways. Um, and we like the quietness there, and we can actually take the dogs without too much effort or being able to take them out, walk them occasionally, you, you know, go to the restroom, that type of things. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to it. Got the Starlink, um, uh, ready to go. Already have it, um, uh, non-canceled, I guess, activated. Um, had a situation here at the house about, I think it was close to a month ago now, where the actual internet went out and had to pull the Starlink out and fire it up, activate it, um, Take it out of RV, which I think they call mobile mode now. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, I guess it's a better name for it. Anyhow, so I had to activate. It's 150 bucks now. Now, so went ahead and left to activate it for that month. They're going to charge me again. It's fine. Um, so I'll be using it here in a few days, so they can do that. Then once we're done with this trip, I'll probably pause it again. Unless we happen to take maybe one more right behind it, which would be great, but we'll see. Um, Quartzsite is also going, starting up here in a few days. It's something we want to get out there and do. We have went uh, either last year, I think it was last year, uh, after they were kind of winding down things. So we want to go when it's a little more active and see more of the vendors and whatnot. And uh, maybe some of the other shows that they have there, rock shows, whatnot. Um, but yeah, again, we're finally getting ready to go. Um, truck wise, I know there's still two recalls that fuel pump. If anybody has gotten one on their 19 or Gen 5 Ram, geez, it's been so long since I've done a video. Um, let me know. It's a CP4 pump. And I know only a few people that got it. And now. Uh, my brother-in-law, who's got a little newer truck, told me they're not even issuing those pumps. So I don't know what the deal is. I know the recall is still sitting on it. I've tried. Um, I do need to get in for the tailgate one. Um, so I don't think I'm going to have time before this trip, but definitely after this trip. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, Rammer's been doing good. Uh, I think we're at 46000 I just looked at it not too long ago and some change no complaints um you know fuel complaints of course and that's everywhere out west here i think i just paid 450 a gallon for diesel yeah it hurts it hurts um then we got out to arizona to pick up the rv um yeah, i'll fill up out there and I, i'm guaranteeing it will only almost guarantee that it'll be a dollar or a dollar and some change less at least um so I might as well fill up when I'm there, fill up when I bring it back out, take advantage of that extra uh, savings. You know, and that's the only downside about RVing. When the fuel prices have gone out so outrageous, uh, along with everything else, food, as everyone well knows, um, it even put a strain on the RV community as far as just, you know, any extra uh, expendable cash people may have had, income, you know, it, probably wasn't going to RV and it was probably going just to keep fam food up for the family on the table um, so if we're lucky enough now we'll take this small trip 
Um, I don't think we'll take any big trips, though. Not, not probably this year coming up. Um, I do this with uh, just a couple days left here in December of 23. Uh, anyhow, besides that, the I'm looking forward to the seeing the RV again and being able to wash it up and uh, work on whatever may have. Uh, you know, maintenance issues it needs while it sat. It sat for quite some time um, in some pretty high heat. It was under shade. That's only saving grace. Um, we are getting a little bigger spot. We'll pay a little more, uh, but it won't be as hard to actually park the RV in that spot um, when we take it back out there. So looking forward to that. Um, yeah, uh, if, again, if you're new to the channel, we keep our RV stored you know, pretty far from where we leave, live, at least uh, probably a three or four hour ride. Um, and we do that because we normally camp in those areas. This time we won't, but uh, a lot of times we do. We just kind of pull it right out from there and be camping pretty close to where, uh, you know, where it's stored. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, it gives us a chance to work on it, clean it, do some maintenance on it. Oh, uh, I think Oliver's trying to sit there. Hey, buddy. Say hi. Yep, got Brutus over there, Thorby, and we got Daisy over there. Not sure what she's doing, but they're all doing good out here in their usual A time. Um, and yeah, got a new camera I might try when I get out there. I want to try and do a few videos like I've done in the past once we're set up. Um, maybe talk about anything new, which I really can't think of from last time. I uh, had the Starlink before. Uh, that was been one of the big changes. We got rid of the DirecTV satellite. Um, got really tired of trying to find the satellite each time. You know, it was just, to be honest, it was a pain. Um, so we even got rid of DirecTV here at the house. We've gone completely, uh, we've cut the cord, so to speak. Um, just, you know, running from the internet, whatever apps. And which has been fine, honestly. There's so much to watch, you can't get to it all. Um, but yeah, so no, um, direct TV out there, just Starlink, um, probably take, I think plan is to we'll take three dogs for now and then possibly go down to two. I think, uh, my daughter's supposed to come out and take one of the dogs. She's pretty, she'll be pretty close within 20 miles, you know, a few nights through, um, other than that, yeah, uh, we're going to get a new, oh, and that's what I just remembered we need to go out tomorrow probably and get, um, is a, we keep an artificial grass area um, in the dog pen area. If you see some of the older videos, you'll see we set up a little dog pen when we get out there. It's probably, it's pretty good size. It's maybe 20 by 20 or 20 or 10 by 15, 15 by 15 maybe. Um, but yeah, we kind of keep them in there when we're out front with them. Uh, if we're not walking them, um, uh, majority of time, honestly, they're inside with us. But, you know, again, if we go out front under the, uh, awning, whatnot, we like, uh, having a little area for them to, uh, spend time with us and they can do that. Sometimes they go potty on the mat and that's what happened to the old one, the artificial turf, whatever you want to call it. It's like a rubber mat nylon on it that looks like grass <laughs> but yeah they went potty on it and kind of ruined the last one so we got uh gonna get a new one of those um and have our list of things to both we need immediately to go get it out of storage which is the battery that's the number one thing um i'm gonna bring uh tire pumps uh things like that um, just in case the tires are low. Hold on one second, guys. <laughs> the dogs are chasing. I don't know what it was. I don't think it's a lizard. Not this time of the year, but had to go uh, put them inside, basically. Um, so, anyhow, yeah, that's uh, everything new I can think of. Yeah, I've got to get the battery out there. Um, and then I have some, once we put it back into storage, I have some bug spray. I like to spray around the outside of the RV just to keep any bugs down that might try and come in when it's in storage. Um, 
it seemed to work pretty well before. Um, I guess we'll see how it looks now. Um, I hadn't sprayed in a few months, so I guess we'll see. Um, and then now I'm just remembering too, I'm gonna need to get some propane and make sure those are all nice and full um, so we can. A lot of times we just cook outside when we're there on the Blackstone. Um, just makes it easier. Uh, I enjoy it. So, so sometimes make up some hamburger patties or chicken or something like that. Uh, again, if you look in some of the older videos, I've done some of that. And maybe I'll try it again. Try and maybe do a cooking video out there. Um, just kind of show the process. And uh, I enjoy doing it. So. Uh, you know, maybe you leave a comment below. We can learn something together on how to uh, You know cook on the blackstone or maybe you got some uh, a different technique you use I'd like to hear it. So leave a comment below uh, Beyond that. Yeah uh, I know as far as maintenance on the uh, RV the roof definitely needs to have some um, uh probably worked onto it maintenance it's been a good couple of years since i had that done I, well i actually did it myself last time and i think this time i want to have it professionally done uh, have a mobile guy come out and do it um depending on what he charges for that i'll see um, and if i need anything else you know done maybe i can roll it into that he's been pretty good about it been fairly loyal customer with him um so again, if if you're new to RVing, um, I recommend yeah, use your shop, you know, or your RV place you bought it, your dealership, but also find a good mobile person, especially if you're way out somewhere. Um, it it will pay dividends to have a good mobile person that you can rely on and that really knows their stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll probably do that. Maybe let him. I know he has some other suggestions too that he might need want to, you know, uh, have me do. Depending again, he can have me do <laughs> a ton of stuff, but depending on the cost, uh, I may try and do some of it myself. Or it's, honestly, we'll just some we'll have to wait. Um, but the big stuff like the roof, um, did clean out around the heater and everything last time. We had those uh, water heater issues. Um, which he was able to fix. He will actually nail it down, uh, put a new uh, igniter in there, and haven't had an issue since. Knock on wood. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll see when we get it out there. Um, it's, I don't want to say it's like buying new again, but it's been, I mean, we're talking almost a year where it's sat. Um, so, you know, it'll be interesting to see. I'll, I'll keep notes on that just alone, that, that fact alone. You know, it, Matter of fact, leave a comment if you, how long have you, what's the longest amount of time you've ever let your RV sit without using it? Um, and then, you know, can you remember some of the things that, that did go wrong because it just sat? Um, anyhow, we'll see. Hope and pray it's not, not too bad, but I'm not trying to have <laughs> unreal expectations either. I'm a realist. I know things can possibly happen, so uh, I'm trying to be prepared for that. So, uh, yeah, I'll try and get this video out. Um, it's almost uh, New Year's Eve weekend. I'll try and get it out probably right on uh, the 30th or so, so people may have time to comment. But anyhow, uh, looking forward to it. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your camping adventures, your RV adventures are going well. Um, you know, this used to be truck tow, tow trailer for the new people. Now it's truck tow fifth wheel, but it's still called truck tow trailer and fifth wheels are still a trailer <laughs> in a lot of people's minds anyhow, but, uh, call it what you want. Travel trailer, fifth wheel. We do really enjoy our fifth wheel. Um, you know, we came out of, we hit, this is our third, third or fourth RV, um, two travel trailers i think we had even had a really small class c before that um and now the fifth wheel which we we love it it's it's been great we wouldn't you know we've thought about selling it but honestly we just love camping so much uh, it's our one getaway that we can do and 
Um, just really feel like we had a break away from things. Um, you know, even even if you compare it to cruising, which is a pretty big difference. I know it's like apples and oranges, really, but um, you can really feel like you get a break, especially if you get in a nice campground that uh, is fairly quiet, you know, uh, fairly remote. You can feel like you get like you really got away from things and that, that's the main thing is going out and having fun and getting a break from the everyday routine um and part of it's getting ready for it honestly you know like we're we're excited about it we're making our plans you know we have our list going what we need and we're planning food now and um which i told her this trip i said just don't let's not go crazy with it you, you know even if you have to eat out a few times that's fine um the you know the holidays are winding down there's been a lot of cooking already. No one's really in the mood to really get back in the kitchen. But knowing her, she will do some things. Um, but I said, even if we just eat sandwiches a few times, that's fine too. Because we have so, actually we have so many leftovers still, um, you know, from Christmas and everything else that we need to eat up. So anyway, I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas or is having a Happy Holidays, Happy New Year ahead. Um, hope it's goes well and prosperous for you um thank you for if you have joined the channel thank you so much and uh looking forward to future videos and endeavors and again i'll try and do some out there i'll piece it enough together maybe for another at least i think people like the little longer videos close to 20 minutes not too long um which this one's getting close to that but uh um, i'll try and do that if i get a couple mornings where i can at least get out there um you know, maybe do the cooking and then show some of the setup out there uh, just so you can see how ours has changed over the years, which, you know, it's in the constant flex as we've learned things and do try and do things better. Um, you know, you'll see that uh, what we've gone through as far as the RV experience. So anyhow, you guys take care. We'll talk to you soon.